All Leeds TV and the first sign of the season has been announced as Lewis Baker on a season long loan from Chelsea and this is just a reaction to that news. So what are my general thoughts on the signing of Lewis Baker and personally I think this is a very good signing. You know I wouldn't call it marquee as such, you know I still think there's a lot more work to be done but this is a good start. You know he's got a little bit of championship experience, you know he's had that loan at Middlesbrough last season, he's had a loan at Sheffield Wednesday in the past and he's had some time in Holland as well. Um, so he's got a bit of experience there behind him. So he should be used to these type of, type of leagues. You know, the championship is a little bit more physical. You know, it's not you don't really get as much time on the ball as you would in the Premier League. Uh, as such of what he's probably used to training with at Chelsea. So this it will be interesting, this one. The reasons I'm happy with the signing are because I think it's different to what we've already got in that midfield. He's a little bit more forward thinking, a bit more of a risk taker. If he gets the ball, he's looking to go forwards all the time and constructs moves, which is something I don't think anyone else in the team offers us so much. Adam Forshaw to an extent, but he's a little bit... Um, Adam Forshaw's a little bit of a safer passer than, um, than Lewis Bacon. That's not knocking Adam Forshaw, by the way. I do massively rate Adam Forshaw. But I think Lewis Baker's just a little bit more creative and he offers a goal threat. You know, his goal scoring record in Holland was good. He's got plenty of goals for England and the uh, and the youth teams, under 21s, under 20s, etc. etc. And he was particularly influential in the Toulon tournament in 2016, which Gareth Southgate's England under 21s won. I think he got four goals in that tournament and he was one of the players of that particular tournament. And that's the only real time I've seen him play. I'll be honest, I didn't see him play at Middlesbrough. But I looked through the reports on him at, at Borough and um, he didn't play much, but when he did play, apparently he played reasonably well. He wasn't really given much of a chance under Gary Monk and Tony Pulis. But I think part of that is because Tony Pulis and Gary Monk are a little bit more cautious than possibly what he's going to be playing under at Leeds. You know, Marcelo Bielsa, it's all about the attack more than the, the defence, really, and the beautiful football, as he mentioned in his press conference. So... And I think with Gary Monk and Tony Pugh has been a little bit more defensive minded and wanting control in the midfield more than anything, I don't think Lewis Baker fit, fitted into either of their philosophies. You know, I think it's because he's looking to go forwards a little bit more than sideways or back, you know, and keeping possession of the ball. He's looking there to create stuff or make, or make the box to box runs. Perhaps that is a bit of a worry though, because in Marcelo Bielsa's 3 3 1 3, assuming he's going to go with that system. Where does Lewis Baker play in there? Does he play in the does he play in the one? Is the number ten or the enganche? Or does he play a little bit further back in the middle of the midfield three, which requires defensive discipline? And that's something perhaps Lewis Baker's not showing much in his career, you know, judging by where his positions he's played for other clubs. Can he make those box to box runs if he's playing as deep as that? That's a big question because if he's making those box to box runs, it leaves us a little bit short in that midfield. Obviously, this is something Bielsa's clearly worked out, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. You know, surely he's brought him in for a reason. You know, whether he's starting every game this season, he's going to be our main midfielder, I don't know. But there's a lot of positives about this signing. He's in this team to create and construct moves, something we haven't had in that midfield for a long, long time. So he's able to get on that ball and pick the passes. And it's not something... It's, that is big for me, you know, that's, and particularly for this team, you know, the trans quick transitions, he should be a big part of that. It's an interesting one for me, and hopefully there's many more to come over the next couple of weeks. And make sure you let us know in the comments your thoughts on the Lewis Baker signing and who else you think we need to sign in the summer or over the next couple of weeks, and what positions you think we need to strengthen. Is there anyone we need to let leave the club over the next couple of weeks, you know, because Bielsa's has talked about 15 players leaving the club. Who would your 15 players be who would leave Leeds United? Make sure you comment down below and thanks very much for watching. All these TV.